Today we're going to be doing some Amazon Fresh, aka Amazon Flex, just one of their many avenues of actually delivering products. We are here at a random Amazon Fresh warehouse. Now you might be wondering why am I doing this and why am I not doing Instacart? And quite frankly, Instacart has just sucked lately. So we have to explore different ways to make some money. Basically today is my first day actually doing Amazon Fresh. We just did our first Amazon Flex like parcel delivery where basically we delivered packages and envelopes just like normal. I used to work for an Amazon DSP, so I used to deliver packages for my job full time. So it was basically the same deal just with my own gas. Did pay pretty well. I think we made right around $24 per hour with our last order because we finished so fast. But yeah, we're gonna be trying it again today. We'll see how this goes. I was really nervous to try this out because I know a lot of warehouses and especially the one I used to work at, they can be pretty blunt and rude so I'm hoping for better today. We'll see what happens. All right, I have no idea what I'm doing. Let's see what happens. Y6, so let's just pair it. Don't they go by um, those names, Olar? Oh, let's yeah. get all the Olars together. Those back there, Olar is here. That's a heavy one. All right guys, so today I do have a helper, which is why I'm not in the driver's seat right now. We do have everything loaded up right now. We went by the little special codes that they use for Fresh and Whole Foods. So I'll try and share you guys a picture of something right now that should explain this better because I don't want to leak an address. But basically there's like five different code words and we only have like how many drop-offs? Five. So we have five drop-offs, five different code words, and we put all those code words together because we know that those are all for that delivery. Our first drop-off is... Started. Head north. So our first drop-off is 20 miles away, and I assume all the other ones are gonna be pretty close, I hope. And we should get most of these packages out of the way like immediately because they do have 10 packages just alone. So we got to our first address. We have this thing, which should open that thing. Should. Oh, look at it. It's doing it. All right, so once again, we actually do have like a gate code. So that's pretty nice. That should make things pretty easy. All right, so my next drop off is 14 minutes away and it is close to my drop off after that as well. We already got rid of most of our packages just from that first stop, which is pretty nice. Now our car is feeling a little lighter. Not really, but you know what I mean. With these orders, we are relying on some nice tips because this is only like what a $30 block for two hours. So if we don't get any tips, it's not really worth it because Instacart would pay more. But if we get some tips, which I think we will because we're delivering in what just so happens to be a very wealthy town, then this might be pretty profitable. I guess with Flex, the only thing you could really do is just be fast and drop it off in a nice manner and make it look nice, ring the doorbell and let them know. That's all I did. If you guys have any advice, always, let me know in the comment section down below. Does this like not look like it fits me at all or is it fine? to our next one.
All right, five minutes away from our next drop off. guys so we just dropped off our last order it took us right around an hour and a half to deliver all these packages but since this is an amazon fresh order we will have to wait a little to see what our tips look like so anyways i'll see you guys back at the office where hopefully i'll be able to see how much we got paid today and i'll break things down tell you how i enjoyed it and saw the downsides all right guys so we're back in the office i tried to record with my actual camera and it's not working so we're resorting to the phone anyways we made 57 dollars off of that order basically we got 30 dollars from amazon and then 27 dollars in tips which is pretty good and we only worked for about two hours so that average is really close to 25 an hour including gas i will say it did take a while to get the tips in i had to wait over 24 hours and in the meantime i did another fresh order and the video that you guys watched today that was a good fresh order the one that i had today not so much. I was delivering downtown and basically in the hood, so we'll we'll see how I get tipped. But for this video, Fresh was pretty good. I will be making another video where I do Instacart and Fresh both together, and that is gonna be coming out next, so make sure you guys subscribe if you guys enjoy stuff like that. Overall, I would say it's a pretty good experience. The Fresh warehouse can be a little confusing, the app's a little clunky, but it's all right. It's more consistent than Instacart and DoorDash from what I've seen, so that's why I like it. It's more of like job security for me. Anyways, that is going to be it for this video. I'll see you guys on the next one.